What's up, internet? I hate getting monitors from ASUS because I na sila balik after I'm done testing them. All of the tough monitors we've tried have been so good, and the VG28U is no exception. It's perfection. The brand sent us this item for review but had no say in what we had to say about it. Let's get the headlines out of the way. This is a 28 inch 4K IPS, 144 Hz, G Sync compatible. FreeSync Premium, 1 millisecond response time monitor. Two Lulawai specs, but do they deliver? God, yes. Everyone who saw this monitor was impressed. My brother passed by while I was reviewing it, and when he saw how sharp it was, he asked what monitor it was. At the time, I was having it display data instead of games. I sent it to the shop where we tried it out with an R9 5950X and a 3090 GPU. And Rocky, Jay, and Ren were also all blown away by this monitor. We're also all wowed by it. For my own impressions, yes, the monitor delivers everything that the specs claim it does. Gaming was buttery smooth with no lag, screen tearing, or jaggedness to mar the gameplay. As with the other tough monitors we've tried, I really like the screen quality. Colors just pop more. They seem more vivid on the VG28U. And they look good right out of the box. No fudging around with settings required. Nagkataon that we got the VG28U at the same time that we were reviewing the EVE Spectrum, another 4K 144Hz monitor. I was very impressed with the EVE Spectrum but side by side with the VG28U, kitang kita yung superior color palette ng ASUS Tough Monitor. The more subdued, closer to natural colors of the EVE Spectrum might be better for content creators. But my personal preference for a monitor is for the colors to be borderline offensive. In how cheerful, sharp, and bright they look. Yung gusto ko, parang nagyaya bang yung monitor na tingnan mo to. Look at what I can display. And ganun nga si VG28U. Display quality was just fantastic. Long story short, if you need a 4K gaming monitor, then this is it. But at this point, we need to leave the PCMR and look at the monitor like a console slash peasant user's point of view. The VG28U has HDMI 2.1. Not really a big deal for PC users who can just use the display port to get the highest resolution and fastest refresh rate that this monitor promises. But for console users, HDMI 2.1 is super important because the latest gen consoles, the PS5, the Xbox Series X, both use HDMI 2.1 to display at the fastest possible refresh rate at 4K. The PS5 can do 4K at 60 or even 120 hertz, but without HDMI 2.1, you're reduced to 4K at 30 hertz. So let's say you're one of the lucky ones that does have a PS5. You have a game that supports 4K at 60 Hz, but you won't be able to play at 60 Hz if you don't have HDMI 2.1. Problem solved with the VG28U. To be honest, I'm not a console gamer, so I don't have a PS5 or an Xbox Series X. But if it displays as well as it does on a PC, and by all indications it does, then console gaming on this thing would be quite good as well. We do get inquiries from time to time asking what's the best possible monitor to pair with the PS5. Well, the answer now is the VG28U because its HDMI 2.1 allows you to reach 4K gaming at high refresh rates. At the same time, the VG28U pairs well with any high-end gaming rig. You can even have it do boring things in portrait mode like work-related chat or just watching crypto prices crash like a rock. But really, it would be a crime to waste this monitor in portrait mode. Street price of the VG28U is around 52k, which makes it substantially more expensive than the EVE Spectrum. So which one should you get? If you're mostly a content creator, then the EVE Spectrum might be the better choice for you. But if you're more into gaming and media consumption, then I would pay the price premium for the VG28U. To sum it up, if you're looking for a great monitor that works well both with PC and with console, then the VG28U is right up your alley. I give it 9.5 out of 10 on the sweetness scale. Tamis! Mm. I just docked the VG28U 0.5 because it does have some ASUS features which I've looked at and complained about in the past. 
that don't really seem to add anything to the user's quality of life when using the monitor. Things like ELMB Sync and Shadow Boost clutter up the UI and confuse the user without really adding anything as far as I can tell or perceive when using the monitor. They really do sound like something cooked up by marketing guys like, oh, the monitor will sell better if we have more jargon involved. Rather than, you know, features that are very clearly noticeable and useful to the user. Great monitor, it is a little expensive, but to be honest, if you have the rig to even contemplate doing 4K gaming at high refresh rates, you've probably already dropped a serious amount of cash and you know, and what's 50K more, right? Thanks for watching. And thank you to our top fans. Now for the namin to na to, De joke lang. Thank you to Leah Magnaye, Ian Meru, Richard Onkinko, ITX Addict, John Ruben Ocha, Christian Espinosa, and Rafael James. Thank you for supporting the channel.